Imagine for a moment, if you will, you've just seen the Jimmy Neutron movie. Magnificent, true cinema. Now on video and DVD. Someone was here and they cooked. You're watching TV and you see this ad. Look at the graphics. It's everything you could imagine. You're at the shops, and you see the Jimmy Neutron game. Pretty sweet, huh? Right there on the shelf. I need... Uh. Your hands shake as you boot it up at home, and you are greeted with this. I can feel it. Oh, darn. I was looking forward to eating that apple. And now you know that there are things in this life worse than death. Hello, welcome to my office. My name's Chester, and welcome to CMB Extra. I'm currently streaming and reviewing my way through all the supplementary content around Jimmy Neutron. Because to me, Jimmy Neutron is an absolutely incredible show. Yes. No. Yes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Big calendar shoot coming up. With some of the best and worst additional content. And it's really interesting to look back at, as for the moment, Jimmy Neutron is kind of one of the only shows of its era that is getting no real love or representation from Nickelodeon at all. Everything else is getting reboots, video games, like even Rugrats is getting a retro style video game at the moment. The most we get is just a random fighter in these oh, horrible fighting games. In a lot of ways, it's a forgotten classic. Despite years of fans' attempts, there is still no real sign of any form of a reboot or additional content. The main thing keeping Jimmy Neutron alive at the moment is the memes, and the memes are quite good and all that. But the show itself is it's just super high quality, and I'd like to draw some awareness to that by covering some of the less than stellar games. <laughs> We streamed the movie game on PC over on my Twitch. The game ran pretty roughly on Windows 10, which is why it looks like this, uh, but it ran a heap better than most of the SpongeBob games of that era. These old PC games are really on the verge of being unplayable without a heap of extra work and downloading shady looking files off chat rooms. They mean you good to stuff. Of course, the replacement.dll file for Jimmy Neutron movie game. Absolutely unplayable without it. Now, if anyone catches you with that, you didn't get it from me. So here's the main thing that becomes very clear as soon as you start up this game. Uh, this game is realistically a baby's first horror game. I don't know who made the music, but I, I'd like to I'd like to find them. I'd like to find their house. I'd like to go into their house. I'd like to find their kitchen. I'd like to go to their sink, have a little drink of water just for the enjoyment of it. I'd like to go to their office. I'd like to barge in, go right up to them. I'd like to stick out my hand and say, Sir, I'd like to shake your hand because someone cooked here, presumably you, and uh, I'd just like to say, um, you burnt it. So this game was made by AWE Games. Fun fact, back when I used to make these videos all the time, I had this really creepy fanatic hound me on Twitter, pretending to be AWE Games and claiming the company was remaking all the old Nickelodeon games and wanted me to make videos on what were his just fan remakes. That he hadn't made yet. <laughs> he messaged me for months. Months. Anyway, more on that another day. AWE and THQ were basically the shovelware kings of the age back then. If you played a kid's game on PC back in the early 2000s, they would just show up like the damn Power Rangers on that startup screen. I played this game a little bit as a kid. Nowhere near as much as Jimmy Neutron vs Jimmy Negatron, but still a bit. I think it crashed a lot, so I never got far. Maybe that was a blessing because... What is this absolute hellscape? What is this? I couldn't make a better horror game than if I, if I tried! I think it's important to outline as we make our way through all this Jimmy Neutron content what a gold standard Jimmy Neutron experience should be. To me, the short film Runaway Rocket Boy, which was the pilot, is a perfect example of that late 90s, early 2000s style. You're a kid out on your own, taking matters into your own hands, it's a summer's night with a world to save, or just a home to run away from. That goddamn Carl. What? See, okay, let me just say it. All right, I am pointing on the left key. I'm, t I'm gonna tell you when I stop and you can watch as it continues. All right, I'm pressing now. And I'm gonna let go in three, two, one, now. What is that? With comedy front and center. That to me is the core of what any Jimmy Neutron content should have. With this, we kind of just have a horror game, but it's got some of those aspects. That adjusts 
What is this audio recording? Was this their first take? They just don't- they are making games that control this way no more. Oh no, sir, go up. This is worse than tank controls. This is the worst thing I've ever experienced. This is hor- This is horrific. I don't think this is right. I don't- I don't think the race of man was born to experience something like this. I don't know what is up with this game. It's just- it's just the crunchy visuals, the bit crashed audio, the absolutely cooked music, all wrapped up together makes for a better horror game than just about any indie jump scare fest out there. Nothing scary happens. It's just simply a never ending feeling of unease. This shit just makes you feel uncomfortable. All those lifeless eyes. Why is the, why is the TV doing that? What's 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 going on? Why won't Vox just shut up? Jimmy Neutron is a very funny show. The writers consistently hit. I've recently gone back to start rewatching the show, and bro, the animation is it's rough, but this show hits. That's why the memes have worked so well. The elements were always there, which is why it's so. Or weird. None of these games are ever funny. Who wrote this? I'd like to shake your hand. So the game is a basic platformer type of game. A platformer where you control movement with both the mouse and the directional buttons. But not in the way that you uh, would assume. Uh, you, you see, you can use the, the directional, like the up button, to move forwards. But you can also push the mouse forwards to move forwards. But sometimes, not always. The game flip-flops between what you are supposed to be using at different times, and doesn't really communicate to you, and you're also just- everything's- everything's running around like it's on ice skates, everything's slippery, nothing controls well. <laughs> so, the jumps m scare me, not because, you know, like, I'm- I'm scared that I'm not gonna make them, but it's more the fear that I know if I do- if I, you know, don't make them, and I fall, I have to play more. That's more of the issue at hand, personally. And just Carl wow. won't stop looking at me and I can't run away because of Jimmy's short legs. I don't like it. The best part of this game is the exploration. The game really gives you free roam overall. Who needs Breath of the Wild? When I've got four whole pixels for a house. Is that a lunchbox? Oh, it's a grill. No, that's not- I'm getting- I'm getting slight terrorist vibes from Jimmy. And something that's kind of interesting is the game is really what you make of it. With lots of side things to do and collect, you can choose to explore or just ignore everything and blast through the story. Which is sort of a sequel to the movie, I think, kind of maybe, Parallel Worlds. You, you adventure around chatting to everyone, being sent this way and that to collect all the different stuff you need for your science fair project, before having to save your friends from the Yokians, the evil egg aliens from the movie. We got Stone Cold Carl, the Weeze. We got Libby, what a goat. Cindy, she's a menace. Don't let her appearance fool you. Sheen actually talks in this game rather than being Hey, Miss Fowl. Ah! And Jimmy's dad, who just does this. Jim, James, Jimmy. Son. Uh, it's wonderful. Mom? Dad? Oh. The locations also increase that sense of unease. Like, something is just slightly off or off a lot very similarly to very similarly very similarly li, li, very similarly to, very much like to Jimmy Neutron versus Jimmy Negatron this game has no real purpose to being played anymore because we can't emulate it like the console versions we can't push the visuals or just increase the fidelity or anything like that we can't rejuvenate the experience and unlike Jimmy Neutron versus Jimmy Negatron it's not Hilarious. <laughs> hey, that bathroom was dirty, and it was out of paper towels. Mom doesn't like it when I don't wash properly. So, uh, are, are there any peanuts on this flight? I sort of hope not, because if I even breathe peanut dust, I go into anaphylactic shock. <laughs> it's kind of fun to watch. But I will say this game does include you getting told off by JFK at Area 51, which I do appreciate. He's coming for me. No civilians are allowed here. I have to go home, little man. Who have designed that? I'd like to shake your hand. It's just rough. But worst of all, they gave God a goddamn voice! I have the layout. I have found how it is located throughout the building and it's turned off. 
minus one car out of ten, don't talk to me. The game might hit different if you played it all the time as a kid, but even with that, the strange uneasy feeling every location has due to the music and overall sound design makes even nostalgia kind of tricky, because how can you be nostalgic for this? Go to room for a scooter. Why is it this music again? This game is getting increasingly cursed and I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. Okay, this isn't funny anymore! Not that it was funny before! All right, maybe the first time, but much less so the second time, and now it's really getting tiresome and very painful! What is... What is that audio? I need more candy! This game feels like something someone would make now for like one of those weird FNAF rip-off type games. Oh, the game's so... It's aesthetic is that it's early 2000s. This is just an unhinged horror game. This, this ain't right. This ain't... Where's his pillow? Oh no. There's something wrong with Benny, he's making me sick. God, no! Oh, I love it, it's so good at handling going downstairs. What is this hellscape? I'm, I'm very uncomfortable. Blah, 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 blah. Where? Guys, this is just a loop. I've been here before. Why was that there? Why is everything in this game like this? Hugh, you're the only- Look at those sideburns! I went somewhere in a video game, asked for something, and they just gave it to me? That never happens. What was that? I just heard, like, the most bit crashed voice saying, Jimmy, stay away from the China. Bro, this entire game is just the most cursed thing I've ever seen. I am, I am very uncomfortable. I, I'm like, just let me out, let me out. All the music is scuffed. All, all the game is scuffed. Hell yeah. Good job, Jimmy boy. Good job, Jimmy boy. Way to go, Jimmy. Ah, uh, at last, parental approval. All right, Jimmy! Woohoo! Good going, Jimmy! Ha <laughs> I couldn't have done it better myself. I love the looping. Good job, Jimmy! <laughs> you did okay, Neutron. Thank you. Thank you. They, they keep clapping. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it... <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, no, it's okay, yeah. It's fine. No, it... <laughs> One aspect of the game I really did enjoy was the slow movement of the day as the game progressed. We slowly moved into afternoon, and then evening, and then fully into night. Giving every area of the game a different feel as you come back to it. It's really bizarre, because it feels like the developers were actually trying. They just didn't have any time, or money, or access to the, like, resources, or access to that much, like, information about the show, because this was just, you know, around the movie time. Actual effort was put into this. Why have the whole changing times and all that type of stuff? It, the game's only two hours long. Why have all this additional content? Just make it an hour and a half and scrap all that and just make it a straight blast through the story. Like, work was put in here, effort was put in. They didn't need to. They were already making shovelware. You didn't need to go that extra 10%. It's kind of interesting. An attempt was made. It didn't land, but you kind of need to appreciate the fact that an attempt was made. At least I, I feel like I do. Despite its often creepy tone and horrible controls, due to the time-changing systems, the open areas, and running around to see your friends, it does sort of retain the gold standard idea of a Jimmy Neutron experience. It keeps the story simple and kind of just gives you room to play. And like, it's not funny, but the horror aspects of it does make it funny. Like, I laughed at that stuff. It just gives you room to play like a kid and explore and see Retroville. The issue is the game that surrounds those ideas. As it is currently, not even nostalgia can protect this game. Like, I would like to hear from anyone who played this as a kid. Play it now. There is no redeeming aspects to it at all. Outside, outside of conceptually, there are interesting ideas here. But nostalgia can't help it. 
like how I can't help myself from these nightmares. Did you play this game as a kid? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll discuss them in the next video. In the meantime, you can check out my video here about Jimmy Neutron versus Jimmy Negatron. Or you can also check out in the description the playlist for season one of CMB Extra with a few extra little videos like that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Or sooner if you check out my streams where I'll be playing the next Jimmy Neutron game, it's in the description, check it out! There'll be a poll on the community tab to let you know which game we're gonna play and you can pick! It'll be up already! Go check it out!